Welcome to my tutorial on how to mine Dogecoin. Let's just jump right into it. Open your browser and go to dogecoin.com. Here we will download the Dogecoin QT wallet application. It is available on many different platforms. I'm using Windows and I assume you are as well, so that's the one we're going to download. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and launch that to run the Dogecoin setup wizard. You'll probably get one of these UAC warnings asking you if you want to let the program make changes to your computer. Go ahead and click yes. In the Dogecoin setup wizard, first click next. It'll ask you where you want to install the program. Anywhere you like is fine. Click next and finish the install. After the setup is complete, launch the Dogecoin QT wallet application. Your wallet has to synchronize with the Dogecoin network. During the first startup, it'll probably take a while, just let it finish. This is your wallet overview. It has your recent transactions and your current Dogecoin balance. This is the send tab used for sending Dogecoin. You put your friend's address here and the amount here, pretty simple. This is the receive tab. This is your Dogecoin wallet address. If you want to receive money, this is the address you will give to the sending party. This is the history tab, pretty self-explanatory. And the contacts tab, also obvious. Now we're going to join a mining pool. So open your browser again, and in the URL box, type in doge.rapidhash. This is the mining pool that I prefer. You can use any that you like though. Click register, type in your information, email address, username, password. It's going to ask you to type in a four digit PIN. Make sure you remember this PIN. You will need it to make any changes to your account. After the registration, go ahead and log in. On the left, click my account and then click edit account. Now I already have my payment address in here, but yours will be blank. So what we'll do is go back to the Dogecoin wallet and go to the receipt tab. Right click on your address and click copy address. Then paste it into the payment address box. Type in that four digit pin that you created when you registered. And click update account. Next go to my account and click on my workers. Here you'll want to create your wor first worker and you can call it anything you want. Type in a worker name and a worker password. Now the worker password doesn't actually need to be kept private so nobody can really do anything with it. And click add worker. And as you can see, a worker has been added down here. Now I already have a worker here existing so I'll delete this one and just use the one I already had. But you'll have to create a new one. Now we're going to download the batch file for the worker we just created. So click on download and we'll download the one for AMD CG Miner. So we don't have to do anything with this batch file right now. So just remember where you downloaded it because we'll need it later. So for now we're going to click on getting started. And here's some helpful instructions on how to get started. Um, we're going to download SG Miner. So go ahead and click on that and download it. And go to the location where you downloaded the zip and then we're going to extract it and you can extract it pretty much anywhere you want just remember where you did it and 
Now go to that batch file that we downloaded earlier. And we're going to cut and paste it. So you can right click on it and go to cut. And then go to the folder where we just extracted the SG Miner folder from the zip we just downloaded. We're going to paste it there. Like so. Right click on the batch file. And select edit. It'll ask you are you sure you want to run this. Go ahead and click run. We're going to have to make a small change to this file. So select this part right here and type in SG Minor. Now save the changes to the file. Now one thing I do to make things easier for me to mine in the future with the settings that I want is I right click on the batch file and hold and then I drag it to the desktop like so. And then I go to create shortcuts here. So now we have a shortcut to our batch file right here on the desktop. So it's a lot easier to just start up the miner. And you can rename it to anything you want. This will make it easier if you have other batch files to mine under different settings for different pools or whatever. Now go ahead and run that batch file. And double click on it and it'll you know, ask, are you sure you want to run this? Go ahead and click run. And then it should look something like this. And if it's working correctly, uh, you'll see it saying accepted for the different shares. And it'll basically look quite similar to this. The GPUs are listed right here. And it'll probably just be one unless you have more than one. I have two here. Of course, one GPU is better than the other, as you can see here with the hash rate. Now, the settings in that batch file that we downloaded earlier are purposely set quite low. Uh, that's so that you don't crash right on the first run. It gives you some room to adjust the settings and find out what works best. Now, I won't go into that on this video. I'll probably make a video about that in the future. Uh, but basically, now you're mining. Uh, that's almost all there is to it. I'm no expert at this, but I hope you found the video at least a little helpful. So like it if you like it, dislike it if you disliked it, leave your questions and comments down below, and thanks for watching.